Oh, damn, that's very, very loud. Hey guys, welcome to a gameplay video of Stigmatized Property, another game by Sheila's Art. This might be my fifth game so far, or fourth, not too sure. I might have to check it out later. But yeah, as you all know, the game is real known for its horrors and suspense, and we'll see what this one's all about. Oh, that's actually a lot darker. I do. Uh, he suddenly invited me to his house. I wonder why. Hmm. Oh, this is actually one of the few that actually has the uh, voice acting. Hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. What the hell is this? Oh, I just picked up some yen. I hope so too. Is that blood? <gasps> That's a kitty! No! Oh, which one of you bastards did it? それも先に家に入っててって言われたけどあいつバイトでもしてたっけ? <laughs> she sounds like she has like an attitude problem or something. 104, 104. I thought someone was following me. I don't know which is 104. Unless it's in Japanese. Oh yeah, this spring button. Oh, I thought you were a dead body. Is it that one? I think it is that one. I don't know about walking to someone's random door. It has to be that one then. Yes. Sumimasen. Moshi moshi. Uh, am I trying to like, find my way in? I really want to know, young lady of mine. Hold on, something is like wrong. Yeah, I don't like the film grain. I just thought it was kind of weird. He says. Okay, and she said something about this while I was just messing around in the settings. <laughs> That's a weird animation. Moshi Moshi! Mr. Pokey! Anybody home? Oh my god. Did I make it worse? What's this? Hmm. This is a nice apartment, even though the outside is kind of shady. Shouldn't really be going to someone's apartment at night, though. That's kind of creepy. Sensitivity is actually acting kind of weird, too. Can I change that? Oh, is that the highest it can be? <laughs> あれ、この<笑> what I gotta find? April 4th. 
moving is over at last. And today marks the first day living alone and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience I've always dreamed of. I decided to move here because the rent is very really cheap. And I honestly can't believe there is a broke student like me who can't afford such a nice room. Plus, it's really close to my school. How amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move, and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all, but man, I'm gonna miss those faces. They found, they told me that they're gonna be here for only a couple of days. They kept on telling me how worried they are, but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm gonna do just fine. Yes, I'm finished reading. You, you don't want to go for an apartment that's uh, very cheap. Oh, and I'm invisible. Getting Silent Hill vibes right now. Holy shit! The paper is wet. I need to find a way to dry it. Yes. I don't know if that usually works, but you know, I guess that's a quick way to dry it. April 5th. Today, I took the whole day just setting everything up in the room. What used to be a room with small luggage and a minimal bed, now it became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whooping queen-size bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Dad seemed to like this house so bad that he said he'd like to stay a little longer. But as much as I appreciate the company, I like to live life already. The owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep though. What was wrong with him? took my hand with a big smile on his face telling me how grateful he was for someone to finally rent the room but how he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go that was way too weird anyways the new semester starts tomorrow gotta get ready <gasps> you should have did some research it's a haunted house it's a haunted house I thought I heard a voice here or something. Oh, that that, ring, that red thing is gonna piss me off, I swear. Moshi Moshi. Moshi Moshi. Okay. I think he wants me to explore this entire neighborhood to see if I can find anything. Hmm? Kinda feel like someone's watching me. Oh! Oh, that was you making that noise, huh? Hello? Can I have that? Moshi Moshi? Can I, can I have that? Please? I need it! I can't continue the story without it! Guys, I seriously don't know how to grab it. I need to give him food? I need to give him some food. Hey! Come on! Let me have it! Okay, fine. I'll be right back. Stay there. I'll get some food for you. Maybe something in the refrigerator? Hmm. Guess not. Oh well. Let's go find something. Oh, I don't want to go there. But I'm still going to. Hello, officer. Officer. Oh, he's gone. What the fuck? Oh. Where the fuck did he go? Wait, how did I drop this? Oh. Wait, what? Huh? What did I do? Okay, whatever. Department memo. The memo. The apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to call a contractor trying to destroy it, but for some reason, the 
phone line stops working. Yet. Oh my god. <laughs> my mother suddenly becomes ill. I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans and stuck them on my walls. And they were all burned the next day. Whenever I put the talismans on the wall, the word Kush would continue to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month. The chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after the possession, the person completely disappears from the world and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares. Certain forces keep telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone, please help me. That's very bad. Also, can I drop this? Because I don't know what I need to store for. No, seriously, I don't know how to drop this. How do I drop this? Oh my god. I thought I'm just examining it. Why? Oh. Oh, I'm going to some. Oh, well, I'm going to get that note first, real quick. So, usually when the apartment becomes cheap, and I do know a lot of horror stories that actually does this, it just means that there's something's wrong with that apartment, and not to mention, it's not just like, you know, the utilities around it, it just pretty much goddamn means that that place is haunted. And I do know there's actually a place that my father told me whenever I drive by there, that, that we do have a haunted house around my street as well. And no matter how low the price is, no one would buy it because they found out that it's haunted. Because people will always ask you, oh, hey, it's actually pretty cheap. And then people will say, oh, why, 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 why is it cheap? Oh, it's because, you know, there's a ghost and it's haunting the house. And of course, no one would want to buy it, you know? Anyways, back to the story. April 6th. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. <laughs> They wanted to come to see my new apartment, but I don't know. They better not fuck up if I get anything up. Mashima Sensei is my homo teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher he is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked about this apartment. Women that age like the gossip block. It's probably whatever. Shouldn't have ignored it, man. You're probably dead by now. Yeah, that guy's probably dead. Just like that security officer down there. Okay, now that I got the stool, I'll just climb on through. I'm breaking in, into someone's house. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, okay. I guess that's that was all I needed then, huh? Oh, 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 can I leave? Uh, can I leave? Oh my god! Oh, it's, these controls are weird. Am I stuck here? I'm fucking stuck here, aren't I? Or I can go to someone's house. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, this is my house. I thought I was going to someone's house. Th I have two bathrooms? I have two bathrooms. What the fuck? I didn't know that. April 7th. I said hello to my fellow neighbors today. There's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbors, right, mom? But you know what, mom? I don't think that works here because I just got the cold shoulder from them. When I said good morning to the neighbors on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes and without a word from his mouth, shut the door on me. Even now, his big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. Uh, I shouldn't be too rude. I'll probably give another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looked like the girl in Shiki... Uh, Shibakibara89 in my class. Her name's Mira. And I'd like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single or ready to mingle. <laughs> 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 uh, 
How lucky I'm excited for tomorrow. <laughs> I actually thought I was the only one that said that. Well, I'm pretty sure there's like people that says like, I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> Alright, what else, what else? Fuck, I thought that was this guy's um bathroom. I thought I was breaking in somewhere else. You wanna? You wanna give me that paper now? Fuck, I really need to get you something, huh? Wait. I don't need to give you that dead cat I found. Do I? I'm so confused. What did I pick up? Mm, that's odd. I see a couple people in one of the slots. It says. Oh, okay. So I need money for this. Okay. And that's the money system here. Gotcha. Alright, let's go explore. Because that's the only thing I can do. This is Oh. Interesting. Now I gotta find the key. Because the mom probably died too. <gasps> oh. Found it pretty easily. She probably died. That's what I think. <gasps> How unfortunate. That mother and son has died. Close the doors for safety measures. Oh, you weren't there, weren't you? Oh, you son of a bitch! Don't fucking do this. Oh, don't you fucking do this to me? Oh, oh, oh. April, if mom came over to my room again, Ugh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with dad again. Her passive aggressive attitude got. To me so I asked her how dad is doing she refused to talk about it instead just sat there quietly I've never seen her like this before she would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight I would notice that but it was just wasn't like that this time an hour or so later she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I can invite my old-time friend Sayaka she had the biggest smile when I agreed to it Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mira-chan in my mind right now, though. Mm. But that smile, her eyes weren't smiling. Oh, shit. Oh. Just waiting for someone to jump scare me from behind. Nope. No jump scares? Okay, cool. Fucking me, I swear. I guess this this room's still gonna start changing now. I gotta be careful. Anything in the bathroom? Is there blood in the bathroom? Okay, it's just the crow and the vending machine. So I gotta find some money. Maybe I missed some money from back here, probably. That's what I'm thinking. There wasn't really a lot of places for me to go anyway, so. Oh, hi there. Maybe he was one of the guys that died too. Yeah, when I saw that door open, I was like, what the fuck? Pray in front of the shrine. 
Yes, I'll pray in front of the shrine. I'll pray. Did I, did I get anything? Am I just praying for good luck? Hmm. How very interesting. Oh, there you go. And I'll get you the fish. Oh. Oh, that door opened. Oh! What? Uh. Thank you for the money. I appreciate it. Is everyone just giving me money if I go to everyone's apartments? I'm so confused. It's like they want me to become part of the loss. Are you different? Nah, you're not different yet. Hello? No. Hello? No. Hey, here's a fish. I'll trade you. Yeah. Better walk away, bitch. Yeah. Yeah! Did this change? Hello? 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 I was able to talk to Mirachan today. What a great day. Except for one thing, mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here and it was odd for her to leave without notice. I hope dad picked her up or something because the car is still there. I invited Sayaka today, and she said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. Whoop! I know something's behind me. I know for sure something's gonna happen. Oh. Why am I looking through the hole? Oh, I don't like the look at this shit! Oh, fuck! Is there anything? Oh my god, I, I hate those freaking seeds where I gotta look into the hole. Okay, I gotta man up again. Let's look through it. <laughs> there really is nothing, is there? I think I should have looked into the hole that one time, and I'll probably get another jump scares. Cause uh, that one time when I pulled the paper out of it, maybe that was another jump scare. Okay, well, let's try going back onto the street. There might be more money I can find, but I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the cat died. Oh, the cat left. Hi! You wanna be my friend? Was that a yes? This is actually getting a lot more scarier. I think this is the, the second most scariest game I played so far. Other than um, um convenience store. Convenience store was definitely top one on my list. Oh, so it's one of those games where I gotta find the, the shrines and... Okay, maybe I have to find all the shrines before I turn in the last page. It's fucking dark too, goddamn. where I was though. Maybe I'll have to find all the shrines and maybe I'll get a good ending. Cause nobody wants to die. Oh it's so fucking dark here dude. I wish I had a flashlight or something. Do I have a flashlight? 
Where's the last coin? How come I don't have a dollar on me? It's so fucking weird. Oh, is this dead end? Hmm. Maybe it's that hole. Maybe I, maybe I have to look at it longer. It's probably because I pussied out every time. Oh, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Alright. No time to pussy out. Let's do this. Fuck! I fucking knew it. Ugh! Oh god. I'm scared. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh my god. Fuck it, my heart's like pumping right now. Was there supposed to be a jump scare? God damn it. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm not doing it. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna baby out. But yes, this definitely takes the number one spot rather than the convenience store. Alright, let's do this. I only found two shrines, so let's see if that does anything. If not, I'll get a bad ending and I'll deserve it. It's totally fine. If I get a bad ending, it's my fault. Should have not been a pussy on that hole over there. Alright, let's do this. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. Oh fuck! Oh my god, dude. Oh no, they probably locked the door on me. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, another one! Fuck! Fuck! Oh shit! Why? Oh, did I die? Oh, shit! Oh, I died. I died. I died so bad. Oh, I'm a pussy. I'm a huge pussy. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. We're back to who it is. I got all four shrines. And we're going with the last page. Hopefully nothing kills me. Let's do this. Am I still gonna die regardless? Oh no, I'm alive. Looked back repeatedly as I felt I was constantly being watched. But no matter how many times I looked, no one was there. I couldn't handle the fear. Walked as fast as I could. He was absent from school the next day. His seat was occupied by someone else. I tried asking his friends and teachers, but none of them knew or even heard his name. I went to the same apartment. However, the apartment was sold. According to the locals, the place has been on sale for a while. Where did the apartment go? And the boy I knew and loved, where did he go? Was it all my dream? Come to think of it. I don't remember his name either. Wait, who am I even talking about? The end result. Save. And that was it. That was both the two endings of Stigmatized Property. That was a great game by Sheila's Art. Definitely scared me just as much as giving the stores. 
it's me peeking through that hole I was so scared most of the time and it was actually a very nice horror game I definitely recommend playing it I definitely recommend you all like buying it it's definitely great 